everyone said they were made for TV. But for real estate experts Brad and Heather Fox, it was never a goal. Hanging up on the call two years ago, that became their big break. And when uh, the production company for HGTV first reached out to us, we thought it was a prank. But the deal they just struck for their own home remodeling show is no joke. I'm Brad Fox. And I'm Heather Fox. And we buy, design, and renovate homes. After discovering the Foxes through their before and after Instagram posts, HGTV signed them to a full season of a new series called Stay or Sell. Stay and build onto your current house. We can create whatever we want. Or sell and find another house in your same neighborhood to make amazing. Now a 12-person crew shoots them five days a week. It definitely is not sunk in still. And in true do-it-yourself fashion, the foxes handle it all, from publicity to scheduling to their own hair and makeup. Well, this is what we actually do. You know, we're not actors pretending to do this, so really a lot of it is us just doing our own thing. But their own thing isn't always easy. Eight years after their first flip, they have a realty company, a construction firm, and now the show, where they do up to eight renovations at once, all while raising two young sons. Whose room is that? Mine. We once stopped the entire crew because we had to go to our five-year-old Zumba performance yeah. at daycare. Yeah. Is it harder than it looks on TV? <laughs> it's more consuming than you would think because it is a total roller coaster all the time. Just ask Jay and Abby Brown. It really was just fate. The subjects of Brad and Heather's latest episode. I know, but we Outgrowing their St. Louis Park Rambler, they signed up for Stay or Sell. We weighed all of our options. Mm -hmm. And when this thing came along, it did look like a good opportunity for us. We weren't uh, trying to be on TV. But now they are, and though they gave the Foxes a wish list and some Pinterest boards, they have no control over any choices and no can't even see the house until it's done. It's been tough. It's been really hard to just let go and let them do their thing and, and be out of the process. It's really hard. Also tough is the show's shooting schedule, which has totaled about five full days, sometimes requiring they leave work. So juggling all that can be kind of hard. Still, Jay and Abby have no regrets. Thanks to HGTV's quick timelines, their seven-month project took just four. And they've realized that not making decisions isn't so bad after all, especially when experts make them for you. It's kind of nice to just say, okay, you pick that out, yeah, right? It takes you, a lot of the stress out. It kind of does oh. in a way. And I, um, there have been moments along the way where I'm thankful. And that's before they've seen the results, which both couples say is even better in reality than on reality TV. I'm trying to figure out if I can kind of contain my emotions for national TV. You see that magic moment when they open the door and they and the, like the, the music changes and everything like the clouds open up, right? And that's actually like a real thing. Like we we are there for that moment, and that I'll tell you that's real. Like it's like pure happiness. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Janelle Klein, Care 11 News. Well, not only will Minnesota families be in the spotlight on Stay or Sell, but so will Minnesota companies. The Foxes say one of the best parts of the job is showing how many creative artists and craftspeople call the Twin Cities home. Stay or Sell's new episodes, including Jay and Abby's, are scheduled to air this fall.